Welcome to this video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, press the like button, and activate the bell, and let us leave you with an enjoyable watch. Rich people got richer due to the corona pandemic. After the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a global pandemic on March 11, stock markets collapsed around the world and the Dow index recorded the worst selling since 1987. While the markets recovered somewhat, a certain group of companies never suffered a loss. Instead, their profits rose steadily with the corona pandemic, healthcare companies that are working hard on vaccines, treatments and test kits. Shares of these companies have soared in the past seven weeks creating a new billionaire and increasing the fortunes of at least nine others in light of the current crisis. The most prominent name is new billionaire Stefan Bansell, CEO of Massachusetts-based Moderna, which was the first company to start human trials of a COVID-19 vaccine on March 16 in Seattle. When the WHO declared a pandemic, Bansell's net worth was estimated at $720 million. Since then, Moderna has soared by more than 103%, raising his fortune to an estimated $1.5 billion. French citizen Bansell first joined the billionaires on April 2, when Moderna's stock soared on the back that the company was planning to start the second phase of its vaccine trials. Bansell is the biggest gainer by percentage, with his net worth increasing by 109% in the past seven weeks. Elsewhere, it was serial entrepreneur Gustavo de Nigeri, whose net worth increased 32%, or $1.1 billion, thanks to his 45% stake in Italian biotech company Dia Sorin. The 10 billionaires of the corona crisis are from seven different countries, only two Americans, Leonard Schleifer and George Yankopoulos of Terrytown, the New York drug company Regeneron. Here are the 10 healthcare billionaires who have gotten richer since March 11 thanks to their relationships with companies fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. Rich People from Corona Pandemic Stefan Bansell. Net worth, $1.5 billion. Source of Wealth, Moderna Corporation. Bansell has been CEO of Cambridge, Massachusetts-based Moderna Therapeutics since 2011 when he joined the company after leaving his previous position as CEO of Biomeru. He owns a 9% stake in the company, which recently won a $483 million grant from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services to accelerate development of its COVID-19 vaccine. According to Bunsell, the vaccine could be rolled out to health workers for emergency use by the fall of 2020. Gustavo Deniger Net worth, $4.5 billion. Source of wealth, Diasorin. Nigre trained as a chemist and now owns a 45% stake in the Italian biotech company Diasorin. Diasorin, acquired by De Nigre in 2000, launched both swab-based diagnostic tests and blood test kits for antibodies to COVID-19. The new antibody tests, launched in April, are now being distributed to several regional governments in Italy. Diasorin has factories in the United States, the United Kingdom, Germany, and Italy. Seo Young Jin, net worth, $8.4 billion. Source of wealth, Celtrion. Seo co-founded the Seoul-based bio company Celtrion in 2002 and launched it in 2008. The company has worked hard on testing kits and potential treatment for COVID-19, with human trials on its antiviral treatment expected in the third quarter of 2020. Alan Mariu. Net worth, $7.6 billion. Source of wealth, Biomeru. Mariu founded Biomeru in 1963 as a diagnostic test arm for the Mariu Institute, a medical conglomerate founded by his grandfather, Marcel, in 1897. His son Alexander now runs the company as CEO. The Biomeru Group for Diagnostic Testing for COVID-19, released in the late March, has reduced testing times for the virus to 45 minutes. Maja Wary. Net worth, $3.2 billion. Source of wealth, Roche Corporation. 
Montel where he is a descendant of Fritz Hoffmann La Roche, who founded the Swiss pharmaceutical company Titan Roche in 1896. It owns about 5% of the company's shares, after it withdrew its stake from the family group in 2011. Roche announced on March 19 that it had begun the third phase of clinical trials of the arthritis drug tocilizumab as a treatment for COVID-19 patients in the United States. The company has also developed a new serology test, which detects antibodies in people who already have the disease, and plans to have it available in the United States and Europe by early May. Leonard Schleifer. Net worth, $2.2 billion. Source of wealth, Regeneron Pharmaceuticals. Georgi Yankopoulos. Net worth, $1.2 billion. Source of wealth, Regeneron Pharmaceuticals. Regeneron Pharmaceuticals CEO Leonard Schleifer co-founded the company in New York in 1988 with George Yankopoulos joining the following year as the company's chief science officer. On March 16, Regeneron began clinical trials of the rheumatoid arthritis drug Ceruliumab on COVID-19 patients in New York, in partnership with French company Sanofi. Preliminary results from the Phase II trials show that the drug rapidly reduced a major marker of inflammation, and Phase III trials would continue until May. Thomas and Andreas Struenman. Net worth, $6.9 billion. Source of wealth, BioNTech. The Strongman twins initially became wealthy by selling generic drug maker Hexel to Novartis for nearly $7 billion in 2005. Now the twins invest in a range of biotech and healthcare companies through their Switzerland-based investment company, Sando Holdings. But the best-known bet is their company, BioNTech, which is partnering with Pfizer and Fossen Pharmaceuticals to work on a vaccine for COVID-19. The first human trials began in Germany on April 23rd, and the company plans to expand it to the U.S. pending regulatory approval. Lee Zeiting, net worth, $12.6 billion. Source of wealth, Mindre. Since its founding by Lee Ziding in 1991, Xinjiang-based medical device giant Mindre Medical International has grown into the largest China manufacturer of medical equipment. Mindre has been actively involved in fighting the COVID-19 pandemic since it first appeared in China, which has increased the production capacity of fans at its Xinjiang plant three times to three. OOO per month, according to Chinese press reports. The company donated $4.6 million worth of medical devices including much-needed ventilators to hospitals around the world, especially hard-hit areas in Wuhan and northern Italy. And thanks for watching the video. Goodbye.